lifestyles. I'm fine. Again, aside from the not sleeping, the jumpiness, the constant, overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. It's called hypervigilance. The persistent feeling of being under threat. But you know how I'll feel? I'll be devastated. And if you die, I will literally go out of my freaking mind. I want to help, you know. But I can't do the things that you can do. You know, every day I saw her lying in that hospital slowly dying. I thought, how the hell am I supposed to raise this stupid kid on my own? This hyperactive little bastard who keeps ruining my life. You killed your mother. You hear me? You killed her. And now you're killing me. It's not just a feeling, though. It's, it's like it's a panic attack. You know, like I can't even breathe. Like you're drowning? Yeah. So, if you're drowning, and you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment, but if you choose to not open your mouth, to not let the water in. What do you do anyway? It's a reflex. But if you hold off until that reflex kicks in, you have more time, right? Not much time. But more time to fight your way to the surface. I guess. More time to be rescued. More time to be in agonizing pain. I mean, did you forget about the part where you feel like your head's exploding? If it's about survival, isn't a little agony worth it? I mean, what if it just gets worse?